foul is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the New York Giants. And this will not be returnable. It's Let's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> Throwing Jones. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. In, that makes it hard to defend. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. the ground this is Leonard Fournette and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 a solid pickup of 12 yards and now they're knocking on the door how best to describe that one I'd say right down Broadway on that run a straight ahead running I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today well he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game first and goal a chance to convert that early turnover into points to throw, it's Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field everyone getting their feet wet early Fournette and he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal this is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something to develop. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucs have taken a first-quarter lead. 
You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that makes the score 7-0. Kickoff honors following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding it for a short gain. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 19. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That ball caught by Slayton. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Penny. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. From the two now, second and goal. will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Gano the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. offense set to begin their next possession that last drive it was a good mix run pass run pass defense on their toes and what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense they think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa i would continue that and when they finally draw a bead on you Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Second down at four. 
Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady looking downfield for Galway. They've got his man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Extra point put through by Sucka, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield, everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield, and he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. A first down carry for Barkley. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Control of the line of scrimmage created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Second and ten. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He'll let this go for the end zone. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jones to Galladay there for a Giant first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw again. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it? All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. The 40, 30. 